That's what storytelling's about in this sort of situation and circumstance. It's another leadership tool for you to put in your tool chest. You have a lot of different leadership tools that you rely on each and every day, and this is just one more. How you use it, why you use it, and when you use it is up to you, but I want you to understand the power of that tool. Leaders have to do different things each and every day. We all wear different hats, and we have to take them on and off. But there's a gentleman in the Indian business community named Narayana Murthy who started a very large company called Emphasis that I'm sure a lot of you know about. But he's also a, a kind of a mentor and a guru around leadership. And I love the way he describes what a leader is. A leader is a dealer in faith. A leader's a dealer in faith, meaning that in every great outcome that you're working towards, every business outcome that you're working towards, there are tens if not hundreds of practical steps that you need to go through to get from point A to point B. But first, there's a leap of faith that you have to take. And you have to help other people take that leap of faith. You have to connect the logic of where you want to go to the magic of why you want to go there in the first place. Or think about it this way. It's possible for a leader such as yourself or a group of leaders to have a big idea, a big vision for change, for an outcome. But you and I both know it's not possible to turn that vision into a reality unless you can get a whole bunch of other people seeing that outcome, seeing themselves in that outcome, in that vision, embracing that vision, and then coming together, tirelessly together, to work together to make that outcome real. And ever since men and women started communicating to each other in front of a fire or drawing on cave walls, storytelling has been the way that we share ideas with other people. Storytelling. Storytelling is probably the most readily and naturally natural way that we communicate as human beings. Being human is having a story. The great Danish author, Isaac Denison, she wrote Out of Africa, amongst other great tales, she said to be human is to have a story. I think storytelling is one of the most human of activities that we do each and every day because our lives are shaped by the stories that we tell, the stories that we hear, and most certainly by the stories that other people tell about us.